my family moved here in 1983. We've seen it grown from probably two, threefold from what it was back in the early 80s. It's always been a really friendly place to be from. It's beautiful here. Our customers are anything from sign companies to guys that uh, want granite in their kitchen, that kind of thing. So um, I think being able to touch a lot of different industries in a smaller marketplace was, was the key to what we're doing. We, we looked at all the options. We looked at laser, we looked at routers, we looked at uh, uh, plasma tables, um, but being a small job shop like we were, we needed something that could cut everything. We, we wanted to be able to do everything and, and the fabricating, welding, that end of it was, we did everything. We did the aluminum, the stainless and the steel. So it, it wouldn't make sense for us to buy something that could only cut a portion of that material. So. That's why we decide on water dead, it's just the versatility. It's dollar figure, it's been probably 10 times from what we started with. A lot of our cutting is strictly that, it's bring in material and cut it, so we don't do any of the other fabricating that we have. We, we strictly do water jetting and clean it up and out the door. So um, our customer base started with the people that we had before the water jet, but has grown. We worked last year with a local artist um, she got uh, commissioned to do a lot of our downtown revitalization project. She came to us and asked if we were interested in, in taking that project on, so we said absolutely. And um, they posted 48 pieces of artwork up on light posts downtown. So our stainless that we, we fabricated will be downtown for as long as they want to keep it. We also worked with another artist. Um, she did a, a really, really cool aluminum and uh, alder wood uh, wing design that's that's uh, on display at the, uh, the Kelowna Airport. It'll be there I mean, for a few months. So, so that's pretty neat where people uh, arriving at a party get to walk by that and see that every day. Um, we've worked with a bunch of wineries in town. Um, so you can see a lot of our work at the front gates of that. Uh, that that's probably most of what you would see is, is a lot of sign work with, with local sign companies. Uh, we do a lot of tea markers, a lot of signs on the local golf courses. Um, the guy that we work with, he's local as well, so he likes to start in his home base and, and go from there and he brings his designs to us and, and uh, we cut them. We, we get a look at a lot of different projects a lot of, with a lot of different industries. So um, anybody working in a standard metal shop wouldn't get that type of exposure and experience because they don't have the equipment to do it. So I think that that does set us apart a little bit. As far as Mashi Tech, we, we really like to support local industry as best we can. As far as table producers, they're still Canadian made, so that was a big deciding factor. Um, we did like what, um, what Mashi Tech had to offer, and we wanted to find a system with the KMT pump on it because we we're used to working on them. Um, we're used to the maintenance, which is fairly easy. And, um, it was it was one of our stipulations so it, it, it had to be that way as far as the dual head system it, it, for that point it was a production decision uh, we needed something um, we knew we needed another table but if we could get twice the cutting out of one more table that was that was a huge decision for us just the production capabilities it, it's more than what we expected that's for sure so um, and Mashi Tech's been great as far as any service and we've never had an issue with the KMP pump. We like to pride ourselves in the fact that we're going to do something, we're going to do it right, we're going to do it fair. We'll try just about anything.